Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and I wanted to show you the um, Amazon Rocket inside the Tandem X Launch, Tandem X Launch Set. This is an SD's product, and it's a nice rocket, and it's a pretty big rocket too. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to build the complete rocket. Yet. There's no need for that. It comes with a nice set of instructions that'll show you step by step. But this way, you get to take a look and see what's involved in case you're thinking about getting it. And um, I do want to show you a couple of things that I think are important. There's a little tiny plastic piece inside the kit here. It's, a, it's called the launch lug. And um, just make sure when you're taking apart the kit, you're looking through, and you're doing your inventory, don't lose track of that. That's a very important piece. Your, your rocket won't fly without that little tiny piece of plastic. So just keep an eye out for that. Also, I wanted to say you're going to need some kind of a sharp little knife to, to trim some of the plastic off some of these parts just a little bit. And you're going to need some plastic cement. Because this type of rocket, unlike the other rocket that comes with it, this one can use a, a regular white glue. This is a cardboard and paper and wood and balsa fins. But this, the Amazon is plastic and has a plastic engine mount. So you're going to need some plastic cement. And I'll use uh, testers. And one more thing I did want to show you is when you're assembling this engine mount, I'm not going to actually cement it right now. I'll do that later and you put the you're going to glue the fins in place something like this the fins will be glued right in and this will go inside the rocket but um, here's the engine mount right now and just make note that this doesn't get glued this, the fins get glued a lot of the other stuff gets glued but the engine mount never gets glued because you need to put the engine in there and then put this in the rocket so this would just go in there and rotate into place. So just make note of that and it locks right in. So just make note that you don't glue the engine mount. You never glue that mount. That's, uh, that's an, un, a part you don't glue. So that's about it. You, you can follow the instructions and you'll um, have a good time. It'll be fun. It shouldn't take you more than an hour to build this rocket. And I want to, one more thing I wanted to say is when you're, um, in your final build of the rocket, when you put the nose cone on the top, it should have a nice semi-snug fit. It should be able to go on and off of you. If it's really loose and it falls out, if you tip it and it falls out, then you might want to put a ring of masking tape on here, one or two wraps, or even more if you have to, to get that just to be snug enough to stay on. And that way when it, when it blows and the parachute deploys, it'll come right off, but you don't want it falling off. And that's about it. I'll build this rocket and I'll, 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 I'll have you take a look at it. You can see uh, what it looks like when it's done. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. And um, I just wanted to show you that I built the rocket. Here it is right here. It took me 15 minutes to make, so these uh, plastic models are a lot quicker to make than the balsa wood models. And the balsa wood model, I also have a tutorial on how to build a balsa wood model. It takes, a, it takes longer to build one of these, but the plastic one went together real well. And there's a couple of things I wanted to show you. Um, not just plastic cement, but you'll also need a little bit of white glue to put that kit together. You probably have that. And um, also, on the sticker kit, you see the Amazon sticker, but there's also a really small sticker that has all, has all the different engine numbers on it. So. Make sure you put that on your model, too, because at some point in the future, it'll show right here the different types of engines. So that's kind of important. You want to have that on your model, and you can always have easy access to what kind of engines can go in it. And um, if this is your first kit or your first rocket, um, I want, just want to let you know that you don't get recovery wadding or engines when you buy the kit, the Tandem X kit. You, so you have to buy your, uh, engines and recovery wadding separate or else you won't be able to launch. So that's it. The kit went together real well. It looks really good. It's pretty big. I think it's 36 inches tall. So and in the kit you get both of them. You get the, 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 the small wooden one and the larger plastic one. So if you're starting to do model rockets, you know, have fun and check out my website www.stormthecastle.com. Thanks.